Namaste guys, in this video we are going to create this gear iris mechanism in SOLIDWORKS. So let's start. First click on the assembly and click OK. After that go to design library, click on NSI metric, click on power transmissions, click on gears. Now first thing you have to do is select this per gear and drag it out. Increase the radius of this gear as per your requirement. In my case, I am increasing up to 70 mm and move downwards and decrease its face width to 20 mm and increase the nominal shaft diameter to uh, 130 mm. Okay, and after that, click OK. Now click on close. Now what you need to, to do is go to this eye, click on view temporary axis. Go to the mates, select this axis and select the front plane of it. As you can see, I'm getting error. So what you need to do is first right click on this gear click on float so you can uh, do mating parts okay and after that go to your mates select this plane axis and select the front plane click ok select this axis and select the right plane click ok select this face and select the top plane click ok now select the top plane, press Ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view. As you can see our gear is here. Now what we have to do is next is now click on here, click on spur gear again. But this time the, the number of teeth on this gear will be less. So reduce the number of teeth. So this time the number of teeth will be uh, 30 move downwards and increase the normal shaft diameter to 60 ok more or less uh, 30 uh, let's decrease the number of teeth to uh, for less number uh, 20 is better I think. yeah 20 now we have made it now click ok close this first thing we have to do is uh, click on this uh, hide this temporary axis now select this face and this face make sure it is parallel and in correct orientation click ok after that we need to make sure that this gear is at the right distance from this so what we can do is select this face press ctrl plus 8 <coughs> select the top plane right click on it click on sketch now click on center line draw a center line as i'm showing so now what we have to do is as we know that this gear has 70 teeth and this one has 20 teeth so 2 into 70 plus 2 into 30 sorry 20 and bracket closed divide by 2 we got 90 and go here click on view temporary axis select this axis and select this point by pressing ctrl click on make coincident ok it's not working because sorry my fault actually i don't want to create a mathematical relation i want to create a mate so select this point and select this axis make it coincide click ok press ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view now rotate this to uh, up to this bit 
okay after that press control plus 8 again now we need to uh, add more gear like this so what we can do is go here click on circular pattern select the axis so select this axis select the component select this component add this component to 6 click ok press ctrl plus 8 now we need to add one more component to make our iris mechanism so let's see how we approach it so as most of you know that i doesn't know what are the dimensions of the gears etc etc so most of the time i create from scratch and this time is also true i am creating from scratch and you can see they are interfering so that's not good for us so we will do something for it uh, right click on it click on here and let's see what we can do let's make the number of teeth to be five as you can see they are correctly uh, matching with each other okay and that's good for us because it reduces our loads so click ok now if we, i need to make teeth okay so what can i uh, what kind of things i can do so to make the closing thing what i can do is go to the assembly click on here click on new part select the top plane now draw the sketch as i'm showing Make sure no external references is checked on, else you will face problem at onwards. Draw the sketch as I am showing. Escape and go to the features, click on extrude wall space. Increase up to 10mm, click OK. After that, select the bottom face, press Ctrl plus 8. Now draw a circle. First click on sketch, after that draw a circle. That says 14 mm. Oh, sorry, 28 mm. And extrude it up to 23 mm. Click OK. And exit the sketch mode. Select this face. Oh, sorry. First click on here. Hide this view temperature axis. Select this face. Uh, no, don't select this face. Just move it upward. Now, what we can do is go to the mate. Select this face and this face while making this make sure that you click on lock rotation because if you don't do you will face problem at onwards so click ok after that select this face press ctrl plus 8 now go to here click on circular rotation select this face sorry go here and select this face select the part increase it to 5 as you can see click ok they are tightly you know merging with each other now what we need to do is we need to define our what what we say uh, mates here gear mates ok so what we can do is right click on here go to the teeth cut right click on it and click on show similarly go to the second gear right click on it and tooth cut right click on it and click on show remember you have to click on show not the edit sketch okay now go to the mates click on mechanical mates click on gear select this line and this line okay press f to fit to the screen as you can see it automatically picks up the diameter and that will what that what we want actually and click ok now let's see uh, is our gear is correctly working or not so go to the components click on rotational and move it and yes it's working and that basically we want so select this top face press ctrl plus 8 and select this gear sorry and move it to here okay
Now what we can do is first we need to hide the sketches uh, because it look quite annoying and right click on hide and after that so let's some, give it some color uh, to make it look good. I think this one is okay and hide this sketch as well right click on it this sketch and hide yeah now this looks great now let's do the animation part so to do the animation simply go to the motion study click on uh, motor select this face okay press ctrl plus 8 and click on reverse direction click on distance enter the value of 360 degree click ok increase the fps to 30 for better quality uh, i don't you recommend use 60 fps in my system because it is not that good so i am stick with uh, sticking with 30 fps so clicking on calculate As you can see, animation is quite fast, so let's do something for it. Uh, first, let's go here. And so, first thing we have to do is uh, we need to change the rotation. Uh, select core motor, select this one. Instead, let's just say 180 degrees, fine. For us, click OK. And here, click on playback move downwards and right click on orientation click on disable now click on calculate uh, ok I have done this mistake <coughs> As you can see they are quite going inside for so what we can do is uh, we need to apply the motor at the uh, right place so right click on it click on delete motor click on yes instead of applying motor there what now so as you can see this one gives wrong result so what we can do is select this gear click on motor select this face click on this uh, distance enter the value of 180 degree click ok now move downwards uh, select this face press ctrl plus 8 click on calculate now go here click on playback mode click on calculate again as you can see this also animation so in this way you can create this iris mechanism in solveworks i hope you learned something from it and if you want to learn solveworks animation and motion analysis check out my course link in description and guys make sure that you also check out my other courses or youtube channels you can learn a lot of things from there so i highly recommend that you go check out them also as well and thanks for watching and have a great day namaste